Oh, <laughs> my bad. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl here, Fairly Misha. And I'm sorry, I'm just into a little song and stuff, as you can see. I mean, so into this song by Taylor Swift called Shake It Off. And I've been singing that song in my sleep. And like everywhere I go, I play it. So I'm, <laughs> yeah, so I was just in a little singing mood. But anyway, um, hey, y'all, what's up? Um, what today? I gained a couple of subscribers, so I just want to say welcome to my channel. Welcome to Fearless Misha, the world. <laughs> welcome, my sickle cell warriors, and welcome to anybody else who doesn't have sickle cell. And um, today I want to be talking about, about the medication that I used to be on and the medication that I am on now. So, the medication I used to be on when I was in elementary was just the liquid Motrin and um, that was it. And Tylenol when it get, when it, when the Motrin wasn't working and that was about it. And so then, um, as I got older, um, they gave me, they started giving me the, um, uh, morphine and then morphine stopped working for me so I took, um, was it oxycodone, which is a whole step further than the morphine. It's so much stronger and everything. And they gave me that with the oxycontin. And I was seeing a pain management doctor while I was um seeing my while I was seeing seeing my um my sickle cell doctor. And after the oxycodone, um, they took me down to um dilaudid and then I went back to oxycodone and then I went back to dilaudid and um there's a whole lot of narcotics and before I was even 16 years old I t already had been t took morphine which wasn't helping and then took oxycodone, oxycontin, dilaudid, and methadone I was on also and I took that's a whole lot of medication and a whole lot of narcotics for a young girl like me and that's all I took and I remember I talked to a few adult um sickle cell patients and um while I was in a um when I was in a day hospital at Memorial Regional, Joe DiMangio and um they were saying that they haven't they still like on morphine and stuff and that helps them but me it never really it's medication that sometimes it really didn't help. And then the morphine I had to stop taking it because it made my stomach hurts. And, um, so I don't re remember if it helps or not now, but, um, now, now, um, I'm off all of narcotics, thank you, Lord. And the doctors decided, okay, you know what, she's, her body's probably getting used to the narcotics, and so it's, t it's time to take her off of it. So, um, last year in, um, June, June or July, I got off of all of narcotics permanently, and so it's been a year and like a year, two or three months. So um, that's like 14, 15 months, and that's that's good, really good. And also, like I said before, it's gonna be a year since I've been in the hospital. So in December makes a year, so I'm so excited. And that was the longest I ever been out of the hospital in forever. Like, this is the very first time, so I'm going to celebrate that, because that's, that's a big thing. So, if any of you guys who had, um, took in, taken any, um, of the medication I listed, um, which is the oxycodone, oxycontin, methadone, dilaudid, and morphine, please leave in the comments below and let me know on which which one are you taking now, which one did you did take and try, which ones help, which ones does not help, which one has a bad side effect, which one are you allergic to, which one that you are not allergic to, and just stuff like that. And um, again, I want to thank you for um, for you all to subscribe to my channel, and um, thank you for following me on Facebook. Um, if you're not following me on Facebook, then my Facebook is at Fearless Misha, or you can just put in, um, Demisha Butler, and my page on Facebook, I created a business page, and it's, um, 
It's called Fearless Misha. And then you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is my Instagram name is Fearless underscore Misha. And um yeah, so that's about it. Um today I'm I'm feeling pretty good today. I mean uh the pain is bearable and um and stuff. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you um uh, which medication I'm um which medication I'm on now, I'm sorry. But the medication I'm on now is Motrin ibuprofen, 800 milligrams, because the 600 doesn't help you anymore. And um, I'm also on Trimadol. And Trimadol is no, it's a non-narcotic, and it helps my pain. And um, so, yeah, that's what I'm on now. That's the only medications I'm on now. And, um, yeah, and I already said before, the surgeries I had was my gallbladder and my spleen was taken out and but yeah but like I said I'm feeling pretty good today and I mean I'm I mean I know I'm gonna have pain every day and that's never like gonna stop but um like I said today was a good day and it wasn't bad. I had a great day um in class today and um I just hope I continue to feel this way and just continue to have a good day. And thank you all for my supporters and Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that button down now. You know the little red button and stuff. And you know, hit that, click that, subscribe to me. And make sure you like, thumbs up, comment, and share my videos, my vlogs to other people, to other sickle cell warriors. And um, just thank you again for watching this video and watching my other videos. And like I said before, just please just um your experiences with the medication and whether um you was taken off of it, whether you never took it before or which one you took and which one you didn't take, which one um just name like different medications and stuff and um just leave it in the comments below your experiences with the medication with narcotics and whether you have taken narcotics before and whether you haven't taken narcotics before just leave it in the comments below cuz i really want to um hear everybody's story everybody i mean everybody has a testimony in life not not just me everybody has its own testimony whether it's dealing with sickle cell or cancer or diabetes or any other kind of illnesses or even, it doesn't even have to be an illness it can just be something else in life you have a testimony everybody has a testimony in life and i just want to hear everybody's testimony i, I want people to um to know that I do care. I'm not just thinking about myself and just say, oh, I'm just going to talk about myself and I'm just going to say this and that for myself. I want to hear everybody else's own their opinions about things. And I'm open to that. And um, that's what I'm here for. This is what my channel is for. I'm open to anybody who has any questions for me. And I, I am, I'm hoping that you all are open because I have questions for you all also. And like I said, um, I'm here... I mean, I want to get sickle cell out there, and I want to um, find other people, more people, other sickle cell warriors, and so we can just stand together. And I seen someone put on Facebook earlier today that they wish they had a hospital for sickle cell only. And I agree, absolutely, totally, I mean, I really do think that. And I put on there that um, it's crazy because... Um, my um majority of sickle cell people have is black african american and we get treated differently the people who have sickle cell in our african american we get treated differently because of those two things and it's crazy i mean if we were caucasian and we'll get treated fairly if we were if we had cancer and was Caucasian, we'll get treated fairly, which I think is not fair. And I really do think that we should have our own little hospital because there's a lot of us out there. We might not know it, but it's a whole lot of us a lot of us out there. And to me I don't think it's crazy because um I think that people really do care more about cancer. And that's because I think because a lot of people don't know about sickle cell disease. And that's why I wanna help get sickle cell out there. So I love it how we um, sickle cell warriors are sticking together and hopefully we can make a difference and we will make a difference. I believe in no, we will. If we just stick together and just have faith in God and believe, then we can make a difference and we can make a, a hospital just for sickle cell 
and um i really do think we should though like um that's a really good idea and um like i said somebody put it on facebook and um yeah but i think that's about it for today and um i hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and um i hope you have a wonderful week so i will see you guys tomorrow on the next vlog so again make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you hit that like button thumbs up and comment on your experiences with narcotics and your experiences on um hospital visits and whether you think that sickle cell warriors should have their own hospital so please let me know what do you think in the comments below and um you can follow me on Instagram, fearless underscore Misha, and add me on Facebook at Demisha Butler, D-A-M-E-S-H-I, Butler, B-U-T-L-E-R. I'll put the information down below in the description box, but thank you all again for watching this video, so I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.